Welcome, welcome to Crafting with Booy Designs, Silhouette Studio Edition. You see me on Canva, but we're going to work in Silhouette Studio today. Um, you, when you purchase this image, this file, this Canva design that I created, when you purchase it, you will get the Canva frame and you will get the SVG also to use in Silhouette Studio or in any other software that you're using that use SVG files. So um, when you get this, you can order it from my website or on my Etsy, Tarjan SVG or at PuyDesigns.com. You will also get the SVG file. And that's what we're going to use today in Silhouette Studio. So here I am in Silhouette Studio. When you open the SVG file, you will see this. Um, you will see all this, this, you can ungroup it and edit it. Okay. Uh, here name will be text. If you don't have this font, it will come in another form. If you don't have the college font, uh, this part which, which has name will come out in the fonts that you have. I think the first font that you have in your, in your computer. Okay. But let's go. Um, let's uh, add some images inside really quick. Um, you ungroup it let me see yeah it's ungrouped like the light pink this pink and the blue okay the background like the background they are one solid piece two solid pieces blue and and pink but these ones they are loose because i want you i want to give you the possibility to edit your picture to crop your picture into it okay so um the first thing we're going to do you go to page setup right here i'll choose here page setup here and um it depends on how big you want it to be let's say we want to make it um uh, 8.5 by 11 select this i'll select 8.5 by 11 i want it in portrait orientation so i will have it on here okay 8.5 by 11 if you want it on a bigger sheet of paper uh, if you want to print it on a bigger shirt and stuff you need to come in here if you don't find the size in here you need to go to custom and create the size yourself okay let's say i go to custom i want it on 13 by 19 i put i would put 13 here and then i would edit my 19 in here okay make sure you you don't you do not select this okay make sure you keep it open i have it on orientation or uh, portrait orientation i'll go back to my media the media is the page okay that we have on custom to cutting mat i will put it on none okay okay this is our page now we're gonna put the print border i have my print border on here because it's uh, uh i fixed it before i made this video but i'll show you how to fix your print border okay here is media media is 13 by 19 orientation is portrait okay so you go to file print page setup right in here and here should be size also 13 by 19 okay and the orientation should be portrait also and after you you select this if you can't find it just go in here and find it super b 13 by 19. if you're doing 11 tabloid 11 by 17 you will be able to to fix your print border on that too but since it's 13 by 19 on this side we have to have a 30 by 19 on here too you see page setup is for the print is for the print border when you have everything when everything is corresponding with each other you click on okay sometimes the print border will be on um we will not come if it doesn't come just go to this one here go to landscape and come back to portrait and it will adjust for you okay that was on a print border fix it or your work won't be print out well okay now we're going to work on this i'm going to do this I'll select all and drag it to fill the page if you want it on 19 13 by 90 that is if you want it on this size you do it on this size if you want it on 8.5 by 11 you do it on that if you want it on 11 by 17 you do it on that one okay so i'm going to uh, um, bring my images in and so i'll go to file i'll go to merge because i want my image in here let's say i want this lady here i'll go back to file merge I brought on this one too. It's small, but it's here. I'll go back to file, merge. I need to have... Four. 
this one too let's say i'll add but this is just for the video i'm showing you how to to do this okay here she is i'll put her on this side mm -hmm. and all these are ai pictures i'll make them smaller really quick okay we're gonna start with these ones right here okay i'll take my image i'll bring it over the two i will um keep it selected and i'll go to uh fill panel and i'll go to transparency i'll bring the transparency down okay and i'll zoom into my image okay let's go into the image right here and now i can see what uh what will show after i crop it click it like this you see that your image should always be bigger than your shape your shape is the number the number two bring it like this bring it up here so that the face shows okay now i have it so i have it here i have it selected i'll send it to the back and then i'll keep it selected i hold shift i'll select the two the number two and i'll go to modify here and i'll crop it i'll go back to the fill fill and i'll bring the transparency back up and now we have our image now i'll go to this one here i'll put it over here bring the transparency down and then i'm going to see i want her face to be in it too like so i'll send it to the back this one i'll keep it selected i hold shift and i'll select the zero and then i'll go to modify and i'll crop it and then i'll go back to fill and then i'll bring the transparency to zero okay let's go to the next one maybe i should bring her here i'll put the champagne i'll put her in the four okay yeah most of her face will be shown i'll send her to the back send it to the back keep it selected hold shift select the four and come to modify and crop and then we will go to a fill panel bring the opacity down we are at the two i will drag this over here make her a little make it a little bit bigger than the two i'll bring the opacity down so that i can see the two okay let me see what i can do here mm -hmm. let me see if i rotate my image like the two into the two make sure your image is bigger than your shape okay let's see i have it like this Mm, 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 mm. yeah okay i have it selected i'll send it to the back i keep it selected i hold shift i select the two and i go to modify and i crop it again and then i'll go back to fill and bring the opacity down now i have this now i have my my things here now we go to the name the name here uh, this text come from this font come from the font.com it's called college font i'm going to select it and i'll put the name down oh no no i'll put it in capital letter yes. yeah. okay i have my name here uh, but i also want to add an offset around it go to um offset and i'll choose the pointy offset and I apply it and I group it because it's loose. You see that it's loose. And then I'll come here and then I add a, a color to it. You can add that color if you want to. And you can make maybe you can make this one black. I don't know. You see it? It's, it's, it's nice. You can change the colors like that. If you want, you can change any one of these colors. Look at here. If I make this green, you see. And I can make this green too. If I want to make the, the pink, select the pink. Make sure you select it. If I want to select this color, you see that? And you can come here and you can add whatever color you want. It's up to you. You see that? You can change things. If you want a color in the of, from the image, if you want a color from the image, you can come in here and take this dropper here. Okay? Um, 
right now i'm going to change the color <clears throat> i'm going to change the color on around the as the outline so let's say i want it pink I'll, I'll go into zoom in if i can find the pink here you see and i take that pink that is if you want a color from the image if you don't want it you put whatever you want but this is how you do it and then you go into print it go to file print you have to fix it fix your place print page setup with your printer that's for another class but you see that my work is gonna print okay one more thing before you go uh, you see the image is like so we can uh, uh, spice up the color of the image like you can spice them up you can select these ones here all these four select them because that's what you want to spice up you can go to here uh, image effects and go to the Sun right here and then you can brighten it up brighten it a little bit contrast a little bit and saturation and the image the color will change it will be it will pop it will be nicer okay and then you apply it okay and if this is what you want like the colors type and stuff you can go on and print it and press it on your shirt but this is the svg that is together in the bundle of the camphor frame um that i'm selling this is not a plr product this is a, a file that i'm selling that i created that i'm selling this is my own file okay so when you order this bundle you will get the svg to, to use in silhouette studio and i showed you everything how to uh, do it if you want to see how to customize it in canva um you can i, I put the link of the video in the description for you um thank you so much for watching and also if you are interested in joining my membership you can join and um you will be receiving classes and files and uh, all those goodies uh through the month and they are more worth than far way more worth than for 5.99 that you're subscribing for so you will get good stuff because you see i'm give, i'm teaching amazing things here Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.